I go. All right, so I got an early birthday present. And it was actually a set that I wanted. So it's a Trade Federation, Trade Federation Troop Care, 262 pieces. And um, that's the back, that's the front. And then for the set, and then we also got uh, a 50 page instruction manual. So that's the front of the instruction manual. You've got three number bags. And you also got a little anniversary picture that they're putting in for new 25 years of Lego Star Wars. The box I think looks nice. I just had to tape it up so it doesn't look as like it flop around. And then for the set. So first we got the troop carrier. This guy right there. So first we got the troop carrier. It's got this thing that can slide out to load up the battle swords. Just squeeze in there to get it back in. Slide back in. That's the stuff to put in the gun rack. This stuff can open up, but you're supposed to put them on the sides. I don't know why they did that. My favorite part of this model is the stuff to make it like hover and those things. So big round things. And then here you can put a pilot droid here and one in there to pilot it. This one's just like a co-pilot. And that's the, I, they, I like these little things. They put a lamp. I don't quite know what those are for. They're not for shooters. I know that though, because troop carriers aren't supposed to have shooters. But on the one that I free handed over there, I put two little shooters. And I think it looks good. That's the bottom, by the way. Bottom doesn't look very good. Looks like half built. And then for the minifigures, we got two pilot droids. So two, I like the, because they got a new torso ring, because there's like a little line of brown on top of that tan on their blue torso. So this, so like, like I was saying with the pilot droids, you can put them in front, right? So this thing, so it's like a shield, I think. And then, right, and then this guy can go here. This guy can just be like a little co-pilot, or if this thing gets shot, he can just take it over so I can escape. And then for the battle droids, we got one, one battle droid. I like to use silver guns. Two battle droids. Two, sec, that's the second battle droid. Third battle droid. Fourth battle droid. Fifth battle droid. And sixth battle droid. I mean, in a 2015 carrier, they could fit 12, which is pretty a lot. But I think this one's like a smaller version. And it's good because the one that I also freehanded can fit five battle droids, one pilot droid in the front. And then, like, I can go, sh and then it also has a security battle droid. I'm going to show, you the show them the one that I freehanded. There is a troop carrier. So this is the one that I made. Wait, wait, no, stop. This is the one that I made myself. It's got same air holders, C2 shooters. That thing can come off as a small speeder, so. Also, there's a gun rack behind it. But I think the one that I built is good, but this one's even better. It's a little one I built. That I also put a control panel. Two shooters. There's all the battle droids that I put from. There's a security battle droid in there. The only one that I had. Most of these droids here are like from old sets. So, and how you put them in, is you can, if you want to, you can take it out to make it easier. Let's see, there's this thing, because like, when you put it in, right? So you put it, put it in. Like you should try to push it because it's kind of hard to make the battle droids in there. You, I mean, you could bend them down, but I don't really do that. So it's easier to take them out. It's like super hard, so it'll press. It's more on the high level, but why they put that brick there is so it can hold, stay, what you can put on the ground. So we got the gun racks. So you can put a gun in the little hole right there. I don't know what that thing's for. And then if you want to, you can put a battle droid in there. Hang on, let me get him in there. That's how they look like if you stand them. I forgot the pose that was in the... What was the pose that you would do for in the instruction? Where was it? Oh, this is the pose right here. just landed right on it. So this is how you would do the pose for them. It's like that. Super weird, but I didn't want to do that. So, so it'd be easier to take them out so you can just rip them out and then they're already ready to go. And to unfold them and there's another battle droid on the instruction like on the front like the guns are kind of angled and they look cooler too so there's a second battle droid in there the one that i built you had to fold them just so they can hold on i didn't want to put that much effort into just making that too 
So my dad got me an early birthday present because don't forget it's five days till my birthday. So Why does this thing go in? It's super hard to get these things in standing. So I think the legs are like super like new molded. It's kind of hard. So because they gotta they, like the doors kind of gotta get like used to it. Like kind of get got their legs into like new mold, like a new. It's not like like the like the same old mold as like since 1999. Only thing that's different from 1999 is they have different colored guns, and they have a straight arm. Because in 1999 you could only have two bent arms, so they can they could hold they could only hold a gun like that. And another new thing from 1999, blah blah blah, and all those other years up to like 2004, is that they have two two. A straight arm and an angled arm. Straight arms to hold their guns. And they also have a different colored gun that was... that The last time they had the black guns, I think, was in, like, 2022, 2023. So there's two last battle droids. And then... I'm going to show you the last part of the set in a minute. Um, so you can slide it in. There they all are. And then a little surprise at the bottom... Is a 25 years of like a Star Wars block. Like they did put in all those, you know, mini micro sets. Like, like in 2023, since it wasn't 25 years of like a Star Wars, they put a 40th anniversary as my executor. Got for like display. 40th anniversary Return of the Jedi block. But now, since it's 2024, like for the Invisible Hand, that's also my dad is more of a history too. Is it 25 years of Lego Star Wars block? I like these print up things, by the way. And which is cool about the invisible hand is pop, you can pop it open. And the trainer for this, the executor, is the two out of the movie, the Star Destroyer. That's the real size Star Destroyer. So that's the whole set. 200, 265, I think. 262 pieces. I would have gotten that wrong. I didn't On a scale of 1 to 10. What do you mean? I don't know. Is it a 10? Almost. It's like 9. No. It, yeah, it's a 10. It's a 10 for you? Yeah, the only thing that they did that was super wonky okay. was that they made these things like open, which is kind of lame. I don't know what that thing's for. Yeah. Okay. Oh, here, sorry. I just don't know why they did that. That's like, your only complaint, so it's not a full 10. So it's like nine and a nine and a little bit more than a half. All right, there you go. I think you should get the set, by the way. You can't. What? It's a gift with purchase, limited edition. Oh, but we have, you have like two. It's exclusive, dude. So you still get it. You Wait, this is an exclusive set? Yeah. It's like the space mech that I have. Yeah, it's exclusive, dude. Oh, but they made an MTT in 2004. They made one MTT in 2005. They made one. And they made the same type of troop carrier in 2015. That was actually... I think they also made one in 2005. That carried right. that that looked like that. But the one they made in 2015 could carry like a whole other rack of these troops. So it carried like 12 troops. There you go. There you have it. All right, we're out.